how to use the OS triple tap system inside of X Leads. The ROS triple tap system is one of the most powerful systems you can have inside of X Leads, the ultimate wholesaling real estate software. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how you could start using this system and how you can have success wholesaling real estate inside of X Leads using this powerful automation. Now, if you go inside here at X Leads and go to automations, you're gonna see exactly what this automation is. Cold calling, ROS triple tap, and you're gonna see exactly what this is. So obviously, if you tag a property ROS Blaster into the contacts, so again, if you go to contacts right here, press import contacts, import a list, you can either add the OS Blaster by just adding imported contact to the workflow and choosing ROS triple tap, or I, what I prefer is you just tag the property ROS Blaster, just like that, and boom, it's gonna start with the whole blaster. But we need to set this up first because we get some confusion exactly like what exactly is the ROS triple tap system? Do I have to change some of the scripts and snippets? Let's break this all down. Let's go back here to automations, go back to cold calling, triple tap system, and you're first gonna see a tag. So obviously to start this automation, you are going to have to start the ROS blaster tag. Then from there, we're gonna have to import our custom field ARV. You're like, oh, what, what's going on here? It's really not that complicated. We gotta first make sure we have a custom field. And I'm gonna show from front to back how this whole system works right here. But the entire point of this ROS Blaster is you're gonna be giving cold offers via text, call, and email to your motivated sellers. And the whole point of this system is the offer is going to be lower than an average listed MLS property, but higher than how any other wholesaler is gonna offer. So it's higher than all the wholesalers, but lower than a listed MLS property. So it's gonna be in this Goldilocks zone where it's like, if you're interested in it, you're definitely interested in selling below what it's worth just a little bit. Now we gotta bring you from here all the way down to here. So that's the whole point. So on a property like this, if it's worth $100,000, we would offer them cold 83 grand. Now, obviously it's 83 grand if it's in perfect condition, most likely not. Hey, because it needs a little more work, we're gonna have to be closer to this price, right? That's kind of the whole point. But the point is to get interest because everybody else in your market is doing the wrong type of wholesaling. So to make sure we have a custom field, we're gonna go back here to workflows. We're gonna to go to our settings. We're gonna scroll down to where it says custom fields. Then from there, we are going to just search it. So ARV, obviously I have my ARV in here. But let's say you don't have ARV on here. Now, if you have the custom version three that pretty much everyone got updated, you should have it. If you don't have it, no big deal. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the bottom right-hand corner right here to our custom support, go to our live chat, start a new session, and we will give you 24 seven live support. We'll even hop on a Zoom to help you out with anything you need inside of X Lead right here on the bottom right-hand corner. But if you really wanna do it quick, all you have to do is it's really not that complicated. Just press add field on the top right hand corner, go to single line, go to field name, call it ARV. I'm just gonna put it test because obviously I'm gonna get rid of this thing because I already have ARV set up in here. We're gonna select the group, we're gonna to go to contact, we're gonna save it. And if we go back to ARV, it's gonna be right there. Now obviously I'm just gonna delete this because I don't need it. That's how you import the custom field. But going back here on the RS triple tap system, all it works is if we can put the ARV on a line and just import that, it's gonna do all the math and multiplication for us. Then from there, it's gonna send an offer email. So an email to the motivated seller. Hey, I wanna give you a cash offer on 123 Main Avenue for you know Zach Ginn. Uh, terms, all cash, no games. Sell as is condition, close as soon as possible or on the day of your choice. This is your custom cash offer and then call to discuss it with your name. Now, obviously your name's not Rick Ginn. You do not work for Treasure Coast Home Buyers. So how in the world are you going to fix this? Because a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, my name's not Rick Ginn. And you might be like, I'm sending these emails out and it's not my name. How do I change this? So let's go change this really quick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back out here. We're gonna go to conversations. Then we're gonna go to snippets. We're gonna go to email right here. Go to the dot, dot, dot and press edit snippet. Then from there, you're just gonna change the phone number right here. So maybe you wanna change it to whatever phone number you want, right? You might wanna change the name to John Smith and then put like, I don't know, Palm Coast Home Buyers, right? Something like that, right? And then press save and it'll save your entire snippet to the customized version of whatever email you're gonna be sending out here. Obviously, I work for that company and we all work together in that company, me and Rick. So basically, we're gonna keep it for us, but like that's how you change it for yourself here. 
Then from there, we go back to automations and you're gonna see we're gonna send a custom offer text. And if they don't reply, we're gonna set them for a manual call and then we're gonna drop a voicemail and the voicemail sounds like this. Hey, this is Zach, just checking in on your cash offer I just sent you. If you could please give me a call back at your earliest convenience, I'd really appreciate it. Again, this is Zach, please give me a call. I got a cash offer in your house. I need to get it done. I need to buy some houses right now. Please give me a call back. Thank you. So obviously it sounds like that and it's not perfect because I'm not trying to be perfect here. Please give me a call back. The whole point of it is I call back. Like, like it doesn't sound perfect because it's on a robot, right? I found when doing this, you get better results than being like perfect voicemail every single time. Then from there, it's going to wait a day and just see if they have any questions, right? So how do we do this from the top? Now, obviously, if you want to change the email, obviously go to snippets, change it. If you don't like the text, you can obviously change the text here, change the snippet, but I would keep it for now. I would say this though, if you're trying to get the best results, uh, for this one, this is the texting snippet. I would customize it. Uh, so we're gonna go back here to workflows, conversations, snippets, and let's just search ROS here. It's gonna be right here. We're just gonna go to edit snippet. We're gonna change it slightly. So one thing we can do, and this has worked really well for me, is if we just copy this, throw it into chat GPT and just say, make 10 better variations of this, but for X leads texting compliance. And what's gonna do, it's gonna make them very compliant for texting so they have good delivery rates. And it's gonna say, you know, hey John, this is Zach with X Leads. I wanted to see. Okay, I don't like that first one, but they're all, all rest of them are pretty good. Hey John, buying house in your area, would you consider an offer for 123 Main Avenue? So that's not bad either. You can even just say this, make it shorter, but with the custom offer like this. So these are gonna be short and compliant. Hey John, I'm ready to offer $50,000 for 123 Main Avenue, no walkthrough. So it's creating these custom ones. And so for example, if you like, let's say this one, which is AI is gonna write it compliantly, you're gonna copy that. And then you might go out here and make your own snippet. So add snippet, add text snippet, and you might wanna call it ROS number two, paste it on there. And then you just wanna make sure that the user names the right one. So we're just gonna change it here, hi. hi. Contact first name, ready to offer. So you can't custom like copy these fields because you want to make sure it's done perfectly. But the custom ROS offer, so we're gonna go here to right here. I'm just gonna press offer. Custom ROS offers right here. So that was the wrong one. Right here. Perfect. Four. We'll put the address. So remember, contacts the seller, user is gonna be you. So contact, where's their address? Right here, address one. Site unseen thoughts. Perfect. And we're gonna press space and we're gonna save this as ROS2. Perfect. So if you go back here to the automation tab, go to cold calling, ROS triple tap. And if you just wanna change it, you can just literally just change it to ROS2. So ROS2 and boom, it's changed, right? Then you can do this one, or you can change it here. Boom, done right here. So from the top, let's go pull a list, import inside of X leads and hit it with the ROS triple tap system to show you exactly how it works. The only extra thing we need here is just to have our Google spreadsheet, which we'll add right here. Google Drive, we're gonna add a spreadsheet right here. So we're back here on the dashboard and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to leads right here. We're gonna pull like a simple list in Stark County. We're gonna go to filters, vacant, single family property. We've got the market value done right here. Years of ownership, awesome, awesome, looks good here. So a quick list, 313, we're gonna download it and we are going to import it here on our Google Sheets. Now, all we're gonna do here is we've got all the data here. Now, of course, we have to kind of have it hidden here, but we're gonna scroll all the way to the right here, and we're just gonna get rid of this one, and we're gonna add something called ARV. And what ARV is going to be, is just going to equal the AVM right here. I know that sounds stupid, but I'm telling you, it just it's really simple. So AVM is exactly what X Leads thinks the property's worth. We're gonna press that, and press Enter, and we're gonna autofill the rest, and boom, that's all you have to do. Now we're gonna go to file, we're gonna download this list as a CSV. Then we're gonna go back here to contacts, import, contacts, right here, go to next. Now we're gonna match the fields really quick. So again, property address is going to be address, city is going to be city. Now recipient address is mailing, you do not wanna do that. State's gonna be state, zip code's gonna be zip code, so postal code, phone number is gonna be obviously phone. Email is going to be email. Phone two is gonna be additional phones. You can throw an email too, additional email, really up to you. And then all the way on the bottom here, there's gonna be an ARV section, which we added. 
Now that one's gonna be automatically mapped as ARV. Don't import the rest. Press next. And all we're gonna do is add tag, add the ROS blaster on here. And boom, we're gonna confirm on the bottom. Bulk import. And we have just done an ROS blaster. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly how you can start using the ROS triple tap system inside of X Leads. If you have any questions about this or any questions about the automation, do me a big favor. We have 24 hour live chat support on the bottom right hand corner right here. We're more than happy to help you out and help you with your success using X Leads. So go right here. We'll talk to our AI real quick. Our AI is gonna figure out which department to bring you to. And then we're gonna hop you on a live chat 24 seven all over the entire world. And then even if you want even more support, we'll give you a 15 minute Zoom every other day, absolutely for free and give you live Zoom support so your questions always get answered for success using the best wholesaling software out there. So guys, if you've got any value from this video, do me a favor, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. This is Zach and signing out. Have a blessed one.